guys. I figured I'd make a quick video and pull this thing apart see if we can't get it to work. Uh, I can tell you right now that that is not a 2000 watt. Um, this one here is the same type, same size, same piece on the end. That's a 500 watt. And the heat spreader is much wider on this one than it is on this one. I have a feeling this heat spreader only goes to here and here so it's twice as small. But this one here goes end to end, I know for a fact. So, yeah, it might be less than 500 watt for all I know. Anyway, someone uh, mentioned about the VCC. We have the two main power wires here for amps. Uh, VCC wire would be a thin one like this red one here. But uh, all these connectors are spoken for. There's nothing here for a key to ignition. This is charge port, which I don't get. Maybe it's misprinted. Uh, electronic lock, uh, brake, light, brakes, uh, three speed switch, throttle, brake, hulls. Uh, this one is um, indicator light <laughs> and reverse. That's it. There, what there should be is there should be another red thin wire that you tie to this one for the VCC or the uh, the pick inside the controller, but there isn't. So there's definitely an issue with this. So let's open it up. Well, f for one, the guy's got it advertised as a 45 amp to 34 amp. It says it's 34. Let me uh, get some gear on and we'll pull this apart. Now I really don't need to put this on a motor. Uh, I'll go right away if it works with this. We just have to get the light to blink, and we're good to go. Oh my god, look at how small this controller is, it's pathetic. There is no way that thing's even a 34 amp. Give me a break. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 FET. 2,000 watt my ass. What a joke. That is pathetic. Dude, this is a 500 watt controller easy. That's all it's good for. Mislabeled. Wow. So that's how they cut corners and save your money. Uh, if you find one, uh, a motor kit like this that's below 200 or 200, uh, you know there's somewhere they pulled some kind of scam. Not only did they save on the controller, but they didn't have to supply an ignition system or anything like that. So really, it cost probably less than 100 bucks to, to manufacture this. They made about 170, well, yeah, made almost 150 bucks worth of profit. Now, this thing is garbage. I almost guarantee it. Now, there's your, see that wire goes right to the same one. This is yellow wire here. I'm pretty sure that's the one we need. That goes to the pick of the regulator. And it's this indicator light. Give me a minute to poke around in this thing. Literally just figured it out. So this orange here is the VCC. And it goes to this one here. 
that says electronic lock. Uh, so if you bridge that, that goes from there, it goes from there to there, which is your full pack voltage. And that's the reason why the pick wouldn't work is because the FETs were getting the full pack voltage, but the regulator wasn't getting anything. So I'm pretty sure if we jumper this, it should work. But let's uh, let's try it out. Not that it matters. That it really is a 500 watt controller. What a joke. I wonder if I can leave more bad feedback. <laughs> I hate people like that. Dishonest. I left a link, guys, but uh, I wouldn't use it. Try 32 volts. All we have to do is get the pick to, uh, I mean, get the uh, the pick on the uh, controller to blink. And a piece of wire to bridge it. Um, take it along with me, I guess. Seriously? Ugh. Had to grab the toughest wire to do this. Ugh. All right. All right. Let's uh, plug our tester in before we even jumper that. See if it starts blinking. And if that's the case, I just solved the mystery. And I'd say it's mislabeled. The power. So that light there, which is 5 volts, that should blink. Should, anyway. This is it here. Electronic lock. So I'll do that. It either works or I blow it up, so. <laughs> Check it out. Okay, so the controller works, but. I'll just leave that in there. They should have jumpered that in the factory and uh, left some instructions or something because a lot of people are going to... Actually, if you look at the feedback on these uh, kits, some of them do say that uh, the controllers are blowing up because of this stupid... This, this, this thing here. This is stupid. They should have designed it with a single red wire coming out for the VCC that you tie together to this main lead here. This is dumb. Anyway... There you go. There's the mystery solved. I repaired it. So, if you do order one of these kits, don't expect uh, the controller to be anything good. Unless it's, uh, some of them do come with like ones like this. Like one one, like uh, this one here. This is a good controller. <laughs> if you can get that, then you know you're getting some quality. You know what I mean? But, no, nah, it's, it's just a generic 500 watt, and not even a good one at that. Oh well. Uh, you know what I saved this for? If I'm doing a repair on someone's e-bike, I uh, give them a bit of a discount on uh, a controller. And they can have this one, because I'd rather just use one of my other ones for this motor. This thing's garbage. Anyway, later guys.